Let's take a problem on sound waves. A pipe open at both ends has fundamental frequency f in air. The pipe is dipped vertically in water so that half of it is in water. What is the fundamental frequency of the air column now? So when the pipe is open at both ends, this is the case. So the fraction of wavelength inside the pipe will be something like this. Both the ends are open. Let's say L be the length of the organ pipe. So the fraction of wavelength inside this air column is lambda by 2 which is equal to L. So we have lambda equal to 2L. Now we know that the velocity of sound is given by V is equal to lambda F where F is the frequency of sound V is the velocity of sound in air and lambda is the wavelength. So we have V upon lambda is equals to F. So we substitute the value of lambda which is equal to 2L in this to get F is equals to V upon 2L. Now we take the second case that is when the pipe is dipped vertically in water such that half of it is submerged. So effectively only L by 2 length is exposed to air and the other half is submerged in water. So the fraction of wavelength inside this organ pipe will be something like this. That is lambda by 4 is equal to L by 2. We cancel 2 from both sides such that we get lambda is equal to 2L. Now let's say the wavelength lambda in this case is lambda dash. So lambda dash is equals to lambda which is equals to 2L. Again we have V is equals to lambda dash F dash where F dash is the new frequency when the organ pipe is submerged in water. So we have V upon lambda dash is equals to f dash. Now we know that lambda dash is equals to 2L which is equal to V upon 2L and from the earlier case we know that V upon 2L is nothing but F. So f dash is equals to F. So the fundamental frequency of the air column when dipped in water remains the same as the case of the fundamental frequency of an organ pipe open at both ends.